Hey guys. Can somebody comment and let me know if you can hear and see me okay? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Judy. Hey, Melanie. Webinar, that sounds like fun. Hey, Rhonda. I'm just going to wait until somebody lets me know. Hey, Sarah, I miss you so bad. <laughs> oh, that's my coworker that no longer works with me. It is not the same without you. Hey, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron, for letting me know. Okay, guys, I think we have enough people on here. We'll just go ahead and get started. Hey, Penny, I've been thinking about you. I hope you're doing better. That's okay, Aaron. Yeah, I'm sad Sarah doesn't work with me anymore, but I'm glad that she gets to stay home with her little guy. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me turn this down. Somebody's texting me. Okay. Sorry about that. Hey, Barb and Janet. Okay. So I'm going to get started because I don't want to be late today. And I'm going to start with the prize patrol winner from last week. And she's on here because I just saw her name. So let me transition. Well, let me first show you guys, I guess. So it's Kathy Brown, and I was so excited when the random comment picker chose her last night because she is on my team. So she won the Peaceful Place stamp set and the Make and Take, and then um, I'm also going to send her the, um, hey Kathy, the um, PDF so she knows how to put the cards together. So I'll get that in the mail right away for you. And then I'll show you guys. I always do a live drawing at the end, but you have to be present to win the live drawing. So don't go anywhere. Stay till the end if you want to be entered in that. You're welcome, Kathy. Um, so it's going to be one of last month's make and takes. I had um, two or three extra, I think. And um, the video is on YouTube to show you how to put these together. And then it's the frosted flowers um, embellishments. So that's what I'll give away today. And then if you share the video, whether it's you're watching the live or the replay, um, that's how you get entered in the drawing for next week's prize patrol. So comment, share, whether it's the live video or the replay. And if it's the live, it'll say live in the right hand corner, left hand corner. And if it's the replay, it won't say that it's live. So this is what I'm going to give away next week. It's the Boca Dots. So it's a brand new stamp set and then another one of the make and take packets for me. So comment and share if you guys want to be entered in the price patrol for next week. And then this is my June hostess code. If you place um, an order with me in my online store and you use this hostess code, you will earn uh, my free make and take packets that I offer every month. And I'll show you those really quick. I've had a lot of compliments on the third card, and I love it too. Hey, Mary. So anybody that shops with me that is my regular customer, I have this Bobby Rewards Bucks. Um, you track your orders here, and they have to be $50 before shipping and tax and all that good stuff. And then you get to choose $40 worth of Stampin' Up! products that you want me to send to you. And then I send the make and take packets in these cute, I did it backwards, in these cute little envelopes. I don't have these sealed because I've got to put the labels and stuff like that on them yet. But this is the third one, the second one, and the first one. So if you spend $25, you would get this make and take packet. If you spend $35, you're going to get both of these. And if you spend $50, then you'd get all three. I love this card. I love how this um, turned out. Thanks, Mary, for sharing that. I so appreciate you doing that every single week for me. Okay. So that's how that works for my make and take packet and um, using that hostess code. And then let me jump back up so I can see. And then if anybody still needs a new catalog, the um, PDF is on the site now, so I'm not sure. But if you're new to Stampin' Up! and you want a catalog, if you live locally, I can meet you somewhere. 
Um, if you need it mailed, I just ask for you to pay the $6.50, but then inside the, the catalog, I'll include a coupon for $6.50, so that way you'll get your, your catalog for free, because I always send it to my online customers for free. And then my next thing I want to share with you guys is June's Monthly Kit Club. I've had this um, designed for so long, but it seems like since I didn't get to do one last week because of the ordering that we all were doing, um, I haven't gotten a chance to share it with you guys. So I'm really excited to show you guys lie live. Hey, Linda. Oh, <laughs> okay. So the monthly kit club is $35 a month and um, it, that includes your priority shipping. You must join by the 15th of every month to get that month's projects. If you join after the 15th, you'll get the next month's projects. So you can sign up whenever you want. Um, you can join and cancel at any time. And every month you'll receive a free make and take packet that you'll, um, you'll, we'll make the cards with. You don't have to purchase the featured stamp set, but if you do, if you add it on, you'll get a 17% discount because I'll pay for the tax and the shipping and handling on that when I place the orders. And then your kit every month will include $20 worth of Stampin' Up! product for you to use to put the projects together. We'll make eight cards with envelopes and it's two each of four different designs. I'll add you to my private Facebook group for my members only. And that's where I post the PDFs, the videos, and all that kind of stuff. And um, after you've been a member for six months, you receive a product bonus of $25. So if you stay active in the club for a year, you would receive another $25 product bonus. So that would be $50 worth of free Stampin' Up! products. Hey, Jessica. Um, and if you're on my team, um, I'll just automatically send you the request to ask you to join because I share everything I do with my team members for free. Um, and so let me show you what the projects are. I can't fit them all in my basket this month. So the four cards that we make, so this is, if you're in the, the kit club, this is what you get every single month. So we make four cards, and this is our cards for this month. And so I use, let me do it this way. Maybe you guys can see them a little bit better. I used the um, Forever Fern bundle and the dies. And it is a beautiful stamp set. Mine have all been mounted because I've used them all. And then you get 14 dies. I always hate opening my dies after I use them and open them because they just, see, they go everywhere. Because I just throw them back in there. I don't put them back in there the proper way. But you can see what I mean. They're beautiful, beautiful dies that cut out all the little leaves, the little imagery. There is a ton of inspiration on Pinterest using this. Okay, so that's the stamp set. If you want to add that on, it is on back order. I had somebody email me yesterday wanting to make sure that I placed that order for them because they wanted it. And I did tell them that I haven't sent out the email yet to the mem the um, club members, but it is on back order. I will tell you that a lot of the stuff that the ribbon and everything that was used is on back order. So that's I had to design this before the catalog came out, so I couldn't look and see what was on back order. I had no idea what was going to be on back order, so it's just the luck of the draw. So anyway, I'll send you all the cardstock to make all four of these cards. You'll actually make eight, because you're going to make two of each one of these designs. And then I also provide you with the envelopes for the cards, and that's $35 a month. So if you add on the, the stamp set, then you get to create the bonus project, the 3D items, and that's what this is. Um, you'll even, even if you don't add on that stamp set, you're still going to get the video and the PDFs to these projects. You just are not going to receive the card stocks for these projects. So this is a little, um, a facial mask. When I started designing this, I was going to go in a totally different direction. And when I went shopping for the projects that I wanted to make the holders for, it turned into a, like a spa day. So it's just going to be like pampering, spa day, treat yourself, um, bath bombs, facial masks, body uh, misters, just things like that. So this has a face mask in it. I don't want to open it up because I don't want to have to fight to get the ribbon back on there. Um, and this is just a large um, pouch. I do have um, a, a large cactus bath bomb. I forgot to bring it over here with me, but it's actually a paper box on the bottom. And then we just wrap the DSP around it. This is a body um, 
a uh, little body, Mr. Cucumber Melon, I think was the, the scent of that. And then this is a little holder for facial toner and facial mist. And you guys, I got all this stuff. I don't know if you guys have a um, Dollar Tree. Is it Dollar Tree? Yes, Dollar Tree. I love that store. And that is where I got all of my pro the products. And then we're going to make this big, large tote. And this holds a ton of stuff. So it's got the exfoliating little glove. It's got some more bath bombs. The color of these items just matched the DSP so, so much I had to just get this. It's got the little cucumber eye pads, the, um, another little mineral bath soak, and then it's got the little like turby towel and everything just matched. The colors just matched so perfectly is why I decided to, to do this. And this is an, a, a very large tote that you can fit a lot of things in. Okay. Let me walk away. I'm going to move this out of my way for a minute. So that is my monthly kit club. And then that's just a picture of the cards. And then I have another picture of the 3D items for you guys. And then the other um, uh, thing that I wanted to share with you guys is right now Stampin' Up! is doing a pick a free bundle. So if you want to purchase the starter kit, um, if you're like me and you have a ton of wish list items from the new catalog. This is a great time to sign up. It's almost like celebration to me because you get to pick a free bundle in your starter kit. Um, and it's a bundle, a stamp set or a die or a stamp set and a punch. So that is, I think that is just a great opportunity right now. And then you'll start receiving 20% on all your future orders. You'll get added to my monthly kit club for free, my online classes for free. Like I said, anything I do for my customers, I, unless it costs a, a, a fee, like my bingo, I don't, my, I mean, my, my downline can do that if they want to, but I don't, I don't promote it to them. I mean, I know they see it if they want to do it. They're more than, you know, I'm more than willing to let them sign up. So that is a great promotion. And then also right now in June, the month of June, if you host a party or shop, you don't have to host, but um, you get an extra $25 in Stampin' Rewards. So that's another, um, the starter kit does not qualify for that promotion. I do want to point that out, but I have everything listed there for you directly from the Stampin' Up! Um, information that they gave us demonstrators what what qualifies and what does not qualify. Kathy said she loves the Dollar Tree. I do too. Okay guys, I think that's it. I think that we can start making the card. And I'll tell you before I even show you today, the card that I'm going to show you, I don't think it's going to be for everybody. It's one of those kind of things that came up in my head and I did it and I like it and I hope you guys like it. But like I said, I don't think it's going to be everybody's cup of tea today, but I will share it with you because I love it personally. <laughs> so here it is. This is what I'm going to share with you guys today and show you how I made it. I am in love with the magenta madness, uh, paper. Oh, thanks, Cindy. She said the cards and 3D projects are wonderful, but I love how this card turned out and I love the magenta. I'm not a pink person. And as I say that, you guys know my nails are pink. And did you see the sunflower on them? But I'm really not a pink person. I don't have a lot of pink in my wardrobe. I know it's not a color I'm drawn to, but I love this magenta. Hey, Cindy. I love this um, magenta madness cardstock. So the base that I'm going to use today is um, Coastal Cabana. And I'm just going to move this out of the way. Let me move some stuff over for right now. So I used the Plain with Patterns Ribbon Combo Pack. So I'm going to use that purple and then that, um, I think that's Coastal Cabana in there. Um, I didn't think that this would go when I first started, but it actually ended up working out really well. I'm going to use our new water painters. Did you guys see this? that there are new watercolor painters that replaced the aqua painters. Oh, Cindy said, wait a minute. What about that pink coat 
coach person. You know, you're right. I know. I keep saying I'm not a pink person. And then I think all the stuff that I have that's pink. Purple's my favorite color, you guys. So the Magenta Madness piece is cut at three and a half by five and a quarter. And then I'm using the Shimmery White cardstock. I like this better depending on what I'm doing over the watercolor paper. And I, I tried this card first with the watercolor paper. Did not like it at all. Um, but this is the Shimmery White and I do like how that turned out. This is three by five. Then I have an extra piece that I'm just going to stamp on for me to die cut out. And this is another piece to piece of Coastal Cabana that I'm going to use um, to die cut out the label. So this is the stamp set. It's the Flowering Blooms. As soon as I seen this, I was like, oh my gosh, that is one I have to own. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. That right now is the only image I've used, but I absolutely love it. And then you get nine dies. You guys have to excuse my sniffling. My allergies have been so crazy, but you get beautiful dyes in this, um, in the, in the die set, I think. Then for the label, I am using the Hippo Happiness. This is a bundle. I'm not using the stamp set. I'm just using the dies today. And I, I just want to show you this. These dies are amazing. And there they are. Aren't those just gorgeous? So this is the one right here that I'm using out of that one. But I love the shape of these and then how big those are. Just They're just so pretty. Okay, so we'll use... Move that out of the way. I'm also going to use clear embossing powder and white embossing powder. And then I'm going to use that big flower. I'm using my Coastal Cabana reinker, and then I'm going to use the Magenta Madness reinker, and then my Sentiment Versamark ink, and then, like I just said, both those dies. So let me move this out of the way. I do want to show you guys something really, really quick. I have gone back several times and placed more orders, you guys. I need somebody to come take my. Linda, I was afraid. I can't see. Oh, gosh, I do see it is dark. I knew it was going to start storming really, really bad when, um, um, when about the time I was going to go live. And now I'm, I can see out my French doors in our family room and it is pretty black. So if somebody, Linda, Janet, or Barb, kind of let me know if I need to stop because it's getting really bad out. Because in my house, it's so soundproof. We can't hear anything. But I'm going to try to be quick, you guys, just so I can hop off here. I've gone back and ordered several, but I ordered the Celebration of Tags. And this is really what I want to show you. The best year, nothing's better. This one, I thought I ordered and I didn't. And then I got the Today's Tiles and the Right Triangles. But well, I'll show you what I really, really want to show you. I am not one of the kit people that when they have the kits, but look at this box. This one I had to have. I can't think of the other one that I ordered last year, and it did carry over to this year. Um, but it was like the air balloons and things like that. I absolutely loved that one. But this one, I love the box. You get the, the laser die, or not laser die cuts, but you get the die cuts. So there is the kind of like laser die cuts. Look at these envelopes. And then you get your card bases. You get all those card bases, the different color card bases. You get the ribbon and twine, and then you get all these gorgeous images to put on your card front that you just have to decorate. I just think this this kit is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And then you always get your instructions. Okay. I hope the storms don't kick me off, you guys. Now I'm I'm looking behind. I don't like it when it storms. Barb says she has a little thunder. See, I'm south of you guys. I have to remember to watch the comments, though, you guys. That's my thing. The difference between the aqua painters, the other ones were just, this was our old ones, and you just fill it full of water. And honestly, I can't even remember if we had two different tips or if they were both the same size. But in these, 
the new ones, you're going to get three. And you have one that is a very wide brush. So that's going to be good for like putting water down. You have another one that is a fatter, wider brush. And then the last one is a thinner one. And it's still the same concept. You fill it full of water. It says push right here to release the water. You push. I do want to tell you guys, mine broke <laughs> because I kept trying to turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it and turn it. And it would not open to say like nothing I did would, it would open it. But you turn it in the opposite direction of what you think you're going to turn it. I had to call Stampin' Up! and ask them. I know that I'm supposed to put water in this, but I cannot get water in this. What am I doing wrong? And I do want to tell you guys, too, that card kit I just showed you, it does have the stamp set. So this is an additional, um, you get the kit, and then you get the, you have to order the stamp set. I about, I about just tripped. Okay, let me see where I want to start at, you guys. So I'm going to take the first thing, and I'm going to ink up the stamp set with a Versa mark. I want to get my tray over here. I don't want to make a mess. And the first one I'm going to use is my clear embossing powder. It's going to take a little bit to draw, to make this card today because I have to use the um, heat tool so often to do the embossing and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to stamp that down. And this will be the one we die cut out. I'm just going to put that clear embossing powder. I'm going to turn it because I feel like I maybe not didn't get that side very well. Okay, I'm going to lay that right there for me to emboss in just a minute. And then we'll bring this one in. I'm going to ink that up again. And then I'm going to stamp it on this card stock going in that direction. Bring this back in. I don't hear thunder or anything here, so hopefully for right now we're good. But they did say that we were going to get some pretty strong storms. And then once it's passed, it's passed, we'll be done. So that's good news. Let me move this out of the way and pick this up and move it over here. And then I'm going to grab the white embossing powder. I don't have, and let me move this out of the way because I don't have that die cut out. So let me, we'll heat set these two flowers first. I hope I can get my heat tool over here. I think I'm going to do this one first. And I'll just get that set. You guys see? The stamp set, Kathy's in the new catalog. It's, uh, now I can't remember the name of it. No, no, I got it covered up. Flowering Blooms, I think is what it's called. That's the bad thing about the new catalog, trying to remember every all the new names, all the new in-color names. So you guys can probably see that melting. There you go. See the look, the like shine. With this, with the clear, you just want to make sure that you've hit it wherever you have put that embossing powder. Sorry about that if I just nudged the camera. I think I did. We're almost there, guys. Hold on. Hey, Tracy. 
Uh-oh. Janet just said that there's thunder and rain on 15 and she lost her satellite. If it kicks me off, guys, I can't go back on. <laughs> but I will try to, like, maybe finish a video or something to show you how to do it. I don't know. Because I have to go to work. I so hope it doesn't kick me off. Still looks about the same. Darkness. Okay, so I'm going to move this one out of the way. We have to die cut. So let's get that out of the way. We'll die cut this. I'm going to try to speed up, guys. And hopefully not make mistakes. But I don't want to get kicked off. And you know what? I'm going to wait to die cut this out because I want to paint it first. So we'll just die cut this out first. Then we can get the heat tool out of the way. Except for maybe if we have to dry a little bit. I can't really line that up. It's not really a good um, visual for me to see to line that up without the paint on there. And I don't want to accidentally die cut it and ruin it. So I'm just going to do Versamark on my sentiment. And then I need my tray. Now I'm going to use some tweezers because this is a very small tag and I don't want to burn my thing. Oh, you know what? I think maybe I better put my embossing powder on there. Maybe I better slow down, guys. Instead of speeding up. I'm all flustered now because I'm scared it's going to storm. Okay, this out of the way now. Now I can use my tweezers. And you got to be careful when you're using this um, small of an area with your heat tool because this, this heat tool gets very hot and you don't want to burn yourself. So that's why I use the tweezers. And I can still feel the heat from the heat tool. So you want to be careful, you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that right there. Now I'm going to, I should have gotten, hold on just a minute, guys. My last Christmas grid paper. Sorry, you guys. I'll throw it away and not use them anymore. So I'm going to take the one that we're going to die cut out. And I'm going to bring in a, just a glass of water. And I'm going to take this big, thicker, um, bristled one. Let me grab a paper towel, too. I always keep a paper towel right beside me when I'm doing stuff like this. So with the shimmery white, it's not watercolor paper. So you have to be careful. You don't want to saturate it too much with water. And I prefer, even though this has got water in it, I'm just going to, um, I still dip it in the, um, in the glass instead of squeezing. I'm going to grab two of my larger blocks and I'm put a little bit of magenta madness on that block and then I like to set my little reinkers right beside so that way I don't get carried away and put the wrong color brush in the wrong spot now if you just squeeze this it's got water in it, it should come out you can kind of see it coming out I can't squeeze it very hard, you guys. So we're just going to put a little bit of water. I can hear thunder, you guys. <laughs> just a little bit in there, okay? Then I'm going to take the thinner of the brushes, and I'm going to pull. I don't want to get in the center where that's dark, because I don't want to get, too, I don't want it to be too dark. And then I just kind of go over it clean my brush and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull some of that lighter and I am going to go for a lighter um, color today than what I did on the original card. And then I just kind of kept going back and forth, back and forth until I got, and then you can blot up. I I don't want to co color my background either today. I'm, I'm My intention is not to uh, to have it colored as full as what the other one is either. Okay, now I'm going to put just a little bit more 
Coastal Cabana in there because you want a little mixture of it. You don't want it to all be one color. And then I'm just going to dab a little bit of that. And then I just kept going back in until I got it kind of like the shading that I wanted. And the bigger brush, I'll show you the bigger brush. I feel like it puts more, um, it puts more of it down in different areas, I guess. But I just kept going back and forth, back and forth. And the, the, the funny thing is, is it makes the flower look purple instead of, um, what you would think that it was going to turn out like. And then if you want to get really specific, you can kind of like focus on certain areas and just kind of like leave it there. That's a little bit too much and not dot it off in my brush again. And then you can kind of go down here for your greens and just kind of leave it, oops, kind of leave it there. But the whole thing is you guys have to be careful about the amount of water that you're using, okay? So for right now, I'm just going to leave that, let it dry on its own as we're doing this one. This is the one that's going to go on the card. So I don't want as much coverage as what I did on that card. So I'm just going to, today I'm just going to kind of like blot. So I'm going to put a lot of, a lot of water on there, but I'm just going to blot. I'm going to use the bigger of the paint brushes, and then I'm just going to blot the water down in different areas, just like this. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep repeating that process until I get what I'm looking for. And right now I don't know what I'm looking for, so we'll just keep going. But I don't want to, I'm going to blot a little bit of this up because I don't, I don't want my background as dark as what it was on the, um, the one I designed. I just, I want, I want to go for a lighter look today. And right now I'm going to focus on getting the color on the flower. Where it kind of where I want that to stay and then just kind of let it sit there. So I don't take that back up. I really love how that's kind of like blending in. Now I'm going to kind of work on this area down here cause I'm not, I want just a little bit more. I, I think I like that like that, you guys. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to put just a little bit right in there. Put some water and just kind of block that up. Okay, so I'm not, I'm done. I'm not going to touch it anymore because I like how that looks. Let me move the water out of the way before we have an accident. Let me move the blocks out of the way before we have an accident. So now let's turn the heat tool on and get both of these a little bit dry. Janet said the storm's messing with her internet. I hope it doesn't mess with mine, you guys. And you can kind of push that water. You can kind of turn it. You can take your paper towel and blot it up if you're not happy with it being there. You can dry the back side too when you're using your heat tool for this. <clears throat> I love how this one turned out. It's like the ones when you're trying to get a good background to go in a, you know, you have in your mind like what you want your background to look like and it doesn't look like that, but then the one you have to die cut out, I love this background on that one. That would make a pretty card. But I like this one too. Even after it's dried, you guys, if you want to go in, even after this is somewhat dry, I'm just going to make it dry enough for me to use. But I could go back in and re, you know, if I wanted more or less water on there, I could go back in now and still do that. Move some stuff out of the way. I'll bring my big shot back in. I think we're going to be okay. And what did I do with the dye? This is what happens is when I, I lay stuff down and then I can't remember where I put them. 
If anybody sees the die, yell and tell me what I did with it because I'm not finding it and we can't move on. What the heck? Oh my good gosh. You guys, did anybody see what I did with the die? Oh my goodness. I know it's not all the way over here. And I put everything right there, so where did it go? You guys, I don't want to have to fussy cut this. Oh, here it is. Whew. Under my mouse. That's why I couldn't see it. Just the corner of it was peeking out. I was going to go frantic if I had to fussy cut this out, you guys. So I always try to, like, when it's an in intricate and you want to make sure you're getting everything cut the way it's supposed to be, I always kind of look at the top and then look at the bottom, and then I just kind of re readjust. And I brought some washi tape over. Just to try to get it centered the best that you can. So what I do is when I think I have it good at the top, I'll just tape it down and then good at the bottom and I'll tape it down. This one I kind of went crazy on with the background and did the whole background. And then I thought, well, I really wished I wouldn't have done such a full background coverage. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? I love how that turned out. Okay, so then I'm gonna take these layers and this is the most, the thing I'm the most excited about, you guys. Look at our new Stampin' Seal. This stuff is so good. I love this. I have used it all week and I have yet to have a problem with it sticking with it not coming off right. I mean, every single time I roll it, it just comes right off. I love it. So this I'm going to put right in the center. And that replaced our snail. And then we have Stamp and Seal Plus that re uh, replaced Fast Fuse. Okay, so now that I have this on here, get our ribbons out. And I'm going to take the purple and white striped one. And I'm just going to cut just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just put it right in the center. Something like that, probably. Because I want it to kind of cover the bottom of the flower, not go through the center. And then I'm just going to take tape. And put it right there in the back to hold it. Flip it over to the front. Make sure I have that straight. And do the same thing on this side. Okay. Then I'm going to take this. And this feels to me like it has a little bit of wiring in it. I'm not sure if it does. It's just what it feels like to me. I just pulled mine off to the side. The side that I wanted it on. And then just cut it just like that. And then I'm just going to tie it. Don't pull it too tight so it's bowing your card, the card stock. This makes a very pretty, pretty accent. So put that right in the center. And if you want to, you could, you know, center it up and then put a piece of tape in the back if you're afraid it's going to move. But I'm, I'm okay. I don't think it's going to. I had to take cold medicine, you guys, because my sinuses are so bad right now. And it is making my mouth so dry. Like, I just feel like I can't get enough water. Okay, let's flip that over. And then I'm going to put some of this on the back. That is the first time. And of course, it's on my Facebook Live that I had to, and I can't help but do the check mark just because we all had to do the check mark with Fast Fuse, and I think everybody got in the habit of doing that. Okay, I do like this background. Then let's grab dimensionals. Use the bigger ones. 
we'll just put a couple on the back of the flower. And then I am going to use some mini ones. So I'm going to put one up here on this part. And another one right there. And another one right there. And then my sentiment. I'm going to put it on first so that way I kind of know where I can line up my flower then. And you could even, I toyed with the idea of just stamping the sentiment on the little corner right there of the Whisper White, but then I decided against it and decided to use these cute little dies. You know, when you get something new, you just want to play with it all and use it all. And then you can just decide the placements of this flower, and I'm just going to do it like that. And I do, I think I do like this one better. I think the softer, it's a little bit softer. So let me show you guys up close. I just love these cards. And then this is, oh, you know what? I forgot to splatter. I'm not going to splatter. This one, see the splatter marks? I just took one of the aqua painters, put it in the darker part of the um, reinker, and then splattered it. This one is without, and I'm not going to ruin it now by doing the splatters. So there you guys go. What do you think? Let me move this out of the way. I still, I'm going to try again this week, you guys, to get the random comment picker to work, but I don't think it's going to. And I still haven't found one that will do it while I'm live. So wish me luck. I want you guys to stay right here. Let me put you back over here. No, you guys don't go anywhere. And I'm going to hopefully see if this will work. I'm kind of doubtful, like I said, but we'll, we'll, I'm going to give it a try. I don't understand. It will let me draw on Tuesday nights. It lets me draw when I'm not live. But when I try to go live, it won't let me do it. Nope, it's not going to let me do it. Okay, so I'm going to try a different, it says that they have a new one, so I'm going to try that one too. But see, that one, it makes you have to pick um, from a post, and I'm live. So, see, my post is not even there. So, yeah, I can't even do it. So, you guys know what I'm going to do, right? We are going to do the, like, I'm going to scroll <laughs> and pick. Hey, Pam. So I'm just going to scroll if I can get my mouse there. I just want to make sure that my mouse is moving back and forth and it's not. Okay, hold on a minute. I got to get my mouse. There we go. Okay, I'm closing my eyes and the winner is. Oh, it just jumped, you guys. Uh, Janet Godshock was who I was on. Janet, you live locally. So woo -woo. Um, I'm not sure, Janet, if you placed your order this month yet. But if you have, I'll just put these in there. And if you're going to, you can private message me. What, however you want to pick it up. If you want to meet me um, to pick it up, that's fine. Or if you order and want me to throw it in with June's Make and Take Packets, just let me know. I hope she's still on here. Because she said her stor the storms were messing with her internet. And remember, guys, comment and share even if it's on the replay, to be entered in next week's drawing. I can't see what I'm doing because I don't have this pulled down. There we go. So for next week's drawing, um, the Boca Dots and another make and take. So if anybody doesn't have any questions. Oh, great, Gina. I'm glad you're still on here. Okay. Just let me know. Just private message me. Let me know what you want to do. It's not a big deal. Um, but I'm going to go, guys. I'm glad that the storm did not kick us off. And I will see you guys next Wednesday at 1 o'clock for another great crafting hour or so. Okay, bye guys. Stay safe for you guys that are local and we're getting hit pretty hard right now.